Grade 8 math number 5.1b, write an equation in slope-intercept form from a graph. In 5.1a, we did it from a word problem. Now, we can use information in a graph to write an equation in slope-intercept form. We use the points that were plotted to find our x and y values. We determine the slope by counting the rise and the run, or by doing the slope formula. We find where the line crosses the y-axis for our y-intercept b. And if it crosses the y-axis at the origin, the 0, 0, we know b will equal 0. We use the slope and y-intercept values to write our equation. So, just from looking at this graph, we know that this is a positive slope because it's rising to the right. Remember? Like we said in previous videos, when it's rising to the right, when we do the slope formula, it's going to have a positive number. Okay, And then remember, when we choose our ordered pairs, our x and y values, we have to do it from left to right. Okay, So we're going to choose this one first and this one second, left to right. So this is going to be x1 and y1, and this is going to be x2 and y2. All right? I'm going to use the slope formula to find the slope. We've got x1, y1, and x2, y2. Slope formula says to subtract and take y2 minus y1, that's 8 minus 5, we get a 3 for our rise. And then we have to take 2 minus 0 for our run, and that's a 2. We could also count the rise and the run on the graph. We can see them right here. We take the two points and we make a nice little triangle out of them, just like this. See? See how we made this nice little triangle? And we count up from this point, 1, 2, 3, so that's our vertical rise, and then from this point down and over, we go 1, 2 to that point, so our run is 2, see? So, now that we've got our rise and our run, our slope is 3 over 2, we find where the line crosses the y-axis for our y-intercept b. Now remember, the y-axis is the one that's going up and down, and that's where x is going to equal 0. So where does the line hit the y-axis? Remember, y goes to the sky, so that's this one. And the line is hitting it right here at 0, 5. Well, that's perfect. The x is 0 like it's supposed to be, and our y value is a 5. So our y-intercept is 5. So the y-intercept b in our equation is going to be a 5. Then we write our equation. We've got all our information. We've got our slope. We've got our y-intercept b, and all we do is fill in the x and the y. And written in slope-intercept form, we've got y equals 3 over 2x plus 5. And we can simplify the 3 over 2 to 1.5, right? That's 1 and a half, and that's our equation. See? Let's try it one more time. So, looking at this line, we can tell that it's falling to the right. So it's going to be a negative number when we do our slope-intercept form, okay? I'm going to choose our ordered pairs from left to right, so we choose this one and then this one. So this ordered pair is going to be, can you see it? Negative 6, 8. So that's x1 and y1, negative 6, 8. And then 0, 4 is going to be x2, y2. And we do our slope formula. We have 4 take away 8, that's going to be negative 4, and then we have 0 take away 6, negative 6. Well, if you have 0 and subtract a negative 6, remember we add the opposite when we subtract negative integers, so we're really adding a 0 plus 6, see? That's going to give us a 6. So our rise and run is negative 4 over 6. There's our negative for our falling line, see? We knew there was going to be a negative. We could also count the rise and run on the graph. And because it's falling to the right, we count down 1, 2, 3, 4 until it's even with this point. And we count our horizontal run from this point down. We count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we've got negative 4 over 6. See? Now we find where the line crosses the y-axis for our y-intercept b. Where is the line crossing the vertical y-axis? 
it's hitting it right here at 0, 4. And it's perfect, see? Because x is supposed to be 0. And whatever the y value is, that's our y-intercept. So we know our y-intercept is going to be a 4. So we've got 0, 4. Now we can write our equation. We've got our negative 4 over 6 for our, our slope, and we've got 4 for our intercept b. It's going to be the red guy back here. Now we write the equation y equals negative 4 over 6x plus 4. We can simplify this, can't we? This can simplify to negative 2 thirds. So our final equation is y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. And there, we wrote equations from a graph, from the information on a graph, okay? Does that make sense? With all the videos that we've done in the past, this should have been kind of easy, huh? All right, we're going to continue on, and we're going to keep talking about writing equations in slope-intercept form. I'm going to try doing it from a description, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.